think I made it. Here is the Desert Valley Auto Parts Black Canyon City location. I brought the 576,000 mile Acura Legend. Unfortunately, had to deal with a dirt road for the last three quarters of a mile or so. Here we go. Uh, this place is pretty remote. It's up here. Took me about 50 minutes, I think, from Central Phoenix. Um, I do apologize in advance. There's going to be some wind noise today. I've dealt with this on some other videos. This new iPhone 12 is not great for sound quality. Um, I did get some instructions from the guy just now at the front desk, and he was giving me a little bit of background on like where to find stuff. Um, I usually come in here without a specific destination or uh, car model in mind, but kind of just go with the flow. So I think we'll do that today as well. I think that's a first for sure. We got a bathtub in this junkyard if anybody needs to rinse off. I think I'm officially blocked in here by a wall of Cadillacs on all sides here. Let's see if I can get out, otherwise I'm gonna sneak through. The thing that's kind of unsettling out here, and I don't think you can hear it probably in the background, these power lines that run through here, I can hear like high voltage electricity not sparking, but kind of like it has this weird hum to it. <laughs> have a thing for old hearses and limos because I keep tending to find them everywhere I go. Each time I make a visit to one of these yards, this is a nice one. It looks like we have maybe some hand controls here to the left of the steering column. Shows 6,300 miles, could be um, 106,000, it could be 206,000, we don't know. Hopefully you can kind of hear what I'm talking about with the, the power line spark sound that I described. I guess it adds to the overall look and feel of a place like this, just to have a little bit of uh, inherent risk, right? That seems out of place for sure because the rest of the cars in this row here are Ford products. Got a Thunderbird there with the tow hitch. Mercury Park Lane sitting on the ground. There must not be much left for that one in terms of a suspension setup. I keep finding cars with uh, crates full of books in them. I don't know if it's one of those situations where somebody had a an estate that they just needed to clean out the barn and that's kind of what became of the storage unit is throw it in the car. Let's get rid of it. Gotta love that big old beet grill, right? That thing is really out there. Unfortunately, I think this one's a little bit from uh, running condition. We've got what appears to be a rodent remains all up in there. Ooh, some cool suicide doors on this big old Continental. If any of you follow my uh, journalism on classiccars.com, I just recently wrote an article on one of these. It was Ford LTD with super low miles and uh, Definitely was in better condition than this one here, but the body on this is really nice. I 
Let's see if we can find a price tag here for sale. Nope, no price listed on this Lincoln. Let's take a peek inside if, we'll, if we can. Nope, we can't. But man, those seats look plush still. If I didn't have a place to stay tonight, I might come up here and cap out in one of these babies. It's 100 each, they say. Maybe somebody out there can confirm this. This hood is labeled as a one year only Buick. colors this thing has been before looks like I at least see a couple that is a jet star with very old tires at this point I'm gonna attempt to make my way over to the other side of the yard he told me that the Mopar stuff is primarily gonna be over there toward the river bend so join me as we explore a little bit further here Market gauges here on the left. I don't see a plate uh, registration sticker on that. Cool looking dash though. I love that they call the clock a chronometer. That one looks like it stopped at 1020 when it finally gave up. There's a Polara, Polara Custom. I do notice they have a lot of this um, orange netting when the cars are exposed. I have to imagine it's for animal control, maybe to keep pe people out or animals out or who knows. I did get a few drops of rain, which I knew was gonna happen based upon the sky condition, but luckily I am still staying pretty dry today. special with a very complete engine bay. Let's see what she's got on the interior. Wow, that dash is so deteriorated. It's just crumbling. You can thank the Arizona heat for that. Nothing left of the headliner either.
sure that's a pretty collectible car. Malibu SS convertible. Dual exhaust with the rear um, fuel filler right there. Let's see if we can get a glimpse of the odometer. 55, I think, is what that says, but it's missing an entire front clip. So that is a project waiting to happen. I do always love the glass roofs on these station wagons. This one right here. We can take a peek inside. Has a very complete dash. That is a Vista Cruiser. 10,000 miles on that mechanical odometer. Another Vista Cruiser with schools open. Drive carefully. Expired in 98. Up in Oregon. Something a little different. Let's uh, hop on board this old bus if we dare and see what it has to offer. Oh my. Good resto project here, or maybe a uh, storage container. Nice. Triple sixes in that Chrysler. Typical uh, bottom of the lake bed, dry dash. Yet again. Ooh, that's a cool front end. Magnum. I like that. Look at that lovely pinstriping that has withstood the test of time. Here you go. That Dodge is mom's taxi. Don't get in her way. She's headed to the elementary school pickup. Looks like mom had a Dual bench seat configuration here. At least the wind died down a little. back to Phoenix. I do have a appointment around lunchtime. Uh, this is definitely a yard that I would probably come back and spend more time in if I could, just because it exceeded my expectations in terms of what was in here. So I hope you guys enjoyed a brief tour of the Black Canyon City Desert Valley Auto Parts and uh, appreciate you coming along for the ride. Until next time.